In today's video, we'll look at how we can stream cast and audit events directly to Datadog and leverage Datadog's cloud seam to alert our security operations team to activity that may indicate an imminent attack. In this environment, I've installed the Datadog agent using their standard Helm chart and configured it to forward K10 events as shown. Alternatively, you could enable an agentless approach, streaming cast and audit events to an S3 bucket by configuring a standard S3 location profile within Kasten and then applying a new audit config resource to the cluster. Then, using a standard deployment of Datadog's forwarder, logs can be forwarded based on a trigger of new logs added to our target S3 bucket. Jumping over to my Datadog Log Explorer, we can see my Kasten events streaming in from both the agent and my S3 bucket but of course you would only require one or the other in your environment. So let's see how we can put this data to work inside of Datadog Cloud Seam. Under Impact, we see I've defined three new detection rules, each pertaining to user-driven deletion of cast and resources, as opposed to retention-driven expiration. Each restore point content object is a cluster scoped resource representing a point in time backup of both application metadata and volume data. So any manual attempts to remove these resources should be considered suspicious. With this rule, we are querying audit data for these deletion events and using Datadog Slack integration to fire an actionable notification when this type of event exceeds a definable threshold. So let's see it in action. Through some crafty social engineering, I've managed to get my hands on some cluster credentials, so let's wreak some havoc by deleting all of my available restore point content resources across all of my app namespaces. And within seconds, I have a notification dispatched to my SecOps team to start the investigation. From the alert, I can directly access that signal and start evaluating who this user is, the permissions associated with that account, and even start evaluating what other actions the user may have performed on this cluster. Through this timely indicator of compromise and taking immediate action, I can put a stop to further damage. And while our intruder thinks they may have just taken out our backups, I know that my backup data is still safe and sound in my immutable off-cluster repository. So if you have Kubernetes applications you need to protect against ransomware or disaster, Check out the link on screen to get started with Kasten for free today.